after 10 years of marriage, seven moves, three kids, we have just amassed too much stuff and I'm ready to go down a minimalist journey here and reduce our clutter. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Erica. Thanks for coming along. And we homeschool and a lot of what you see here is gonna be just entire whole house clutter as well as homeschool. I am starting in the kids art room or maker space where it just really gets away from us. It also is a high traffic area and a dumping ground for me that things for things that don't have a home. This mess here really points to the habits that need to change. That was a pile from several weeks ago from our vacation and our vacation was my tipping point, my aha moment. We didn't bring a lot of stuff on vacation with us and we had a blast. There was less distractions and we really focused on each other. And that is what I want out of my definition of min minimalism. Um, it's, you know, the intention, the promotion of things um, that we want, that we value, which is each other and time with each other and the removal of things that are going to stand in the way of that. So this art room, while it's amazing, it becomes a mess day after day after day because there's just too much stuff. Um, I just, you know, buy things from the dollar store, the Target dollar spot of just things I think they would love to build and create with. And it's just so much stuff that they are overwhelmed by the options. And so I'm just going to get rid of everything. And we've been focusing a lot on a single sketchbook and a bag of pencils lately. And it's been fantastic. My kids have been writing books and drawing the most beautiful pictures. This is what remains of our maker space. It used to occupy uh, three shelves here and now I've just got it down to the binder, the related books and a spinny contraption thing. And then that used to house all our stem bins. I've reduced that from 15 to six. And now I'm just taking the shelves out of the room in an effort to continue to minimize our stuff. So this is our art room. We hang a lot of things on the windows for the kids to enjoy what they've made. And here's our puppy ranger. And I'm going to get started on this section here. Has a lot of bins that organize our art supplies. I removed the two bookshelves and the white table that had three drawers and really opened up this space a bit. Those shelving and table were just facilitating the clutter in this room and I'm glad they're out now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the playroom where we had our storage items delivered and start to figure out what to do in this room. Um, we had our stuff that's been in storage for two years delivered to the house this summer. I don't know what's in the boxes. Obviously we can live without it if we've been without it for two years. And it's been sitting here in my basement for two months. We have three little kids, we homeschool, and it's just hasn't been prioritized. And we're not hoarders, <laughs> I don't know what's in it, but it's really causing me and has been causing me a load of anxiety and stress because this is our playroom and one of our homeschool rooms and I didn't have access to it all summer, which is fine because we're outside all the time, but fall is here and I am in full fall homeschool mode and I don't have access to this room and we just have too much stuff. 
the time has come. This is an extreme declutter of our life. This is an extreme declutter of our entire house. Our attic looks like this, our crawl space looks like this, the kids' closets look like this because I just keep sticking stuff in there because it doesn't have a home. So I'm just fed up and I'm gonna do something about it. And I I wanna I wanna say I'm gonna start. I don't even know where to start. Like I don't know where to start. I want someone to come here and tell me how to do this. I don't know how to do this. It's stuff I'm totally fine parting with. I just don't know what to do with it. Like, do I sell it? Do I donate it? I don't want to throw it away because some of this has never been opened. And I just don't like living that way. I'm getting rid of stuff. I, I just, I feel like I should give it for a lot of things forward, especially the toys and the homeschool stuff. I'm kind of feeling like I want to give it forward, give it to another family that's definitely going to use it because right now stuff is collecting dust and stressing me out. So here we go. This is about six hours of already unpacking and look at it. There's like a little bit of space now. And we just switched the kids rooms upstairs and this is just the opportunity that I've needed and I've been waiting for to purge. Um, and so like this here, all homeschool. Cabinets here, one, two, three cabinets, six drawers, all homeschool, packed to the gills. And I have 15 baskets upstairs on my Ikea Calyx that is homeschool. So just too much stuff when two thirds of my children don't even read yet. I mean, come on. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head out if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Four of these large Sterilite bins filled with restaurant, play restaurant, which they play often. So um, I'm actually just going through decluttering and categorizing between two things. One, a box that we can take to our co-op, homeschool co-op group, and let the littles play with while the big kids do their co-op schoolwork. And the second one for us to just keep at home. And then the rest I'm going to donate or throw away. I am donating or throwing out or giving forward to another family more than I'm keeping. But my challenge now is where to put the stuff I am actually keeping. Finding a home for the things that I want to hang on to has been a surprising time consuming step in this decluttering process. Don't you just get tired 
Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better My youngest there in the background gets me up about 5.30 in the morning, so I just jumped on the project this morning and was so pleased with myself when I got three bins empty. These are puzzles that have been missing pieces for the last two years. I'm in the homeschool section of the playroom right now, just kind of situating materials. I'm piling things up and I'm going to do a massive homeschool reorganization later. to the last box for the day and then I'm going to switch to another section of the house just so I can take a break from this playroom. So this front window is kind of like a weird command center come in the door drop your stuff sort of location. Uh, everyday stuff that we need is also just kind of kept here. Usually I just close these curtains so I don't have to look at it but that is not the right answer when decluttering so here we go Thank you for coming on this journey with me. It was my first step towards minimalism. I will follow up with an after of the playroom. It is definitely not done. I still have tons of unpacking to do and other sections of the house to work on. It is much bigger tasks than I was anticipating starting out, but I've got some books and I have some direction and I'm excited to share the next step in our journey. Thank you again for watching. 